We got an arm. If you follow this across, right, that's the shit, the sandstone right there. The sandstone right here. I got a chance to go See what's happened? I'm on one, he's on another. What's wrong here? They're shifted. They're shifted. Re reverse fault. Right? Follow it's just a fault. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see the fault. All I see is the shift, just like what we saw there. It could be a fold oil. It's probably not a fold because I got the same stripe here, here and there. Okay. For all intents and purposes. So somewhere in this, just like this is a miniature example of that. Shift's different. This is shifted left, right? Uh-huh. That's shifted right. Okay. <laughs> but there's a shift. Uh -huh. So the contact is displaced. And uh so it should all be brecciated in between. Faults like that around here. And that's a typical fault. They hide on you. You're following a contact and all of a sudden it stops. Right? A, a mapping technique for finding faults. We'll do that. We'll deal with this later in class. But that's a mapping technique for finding a fault, right? I'm following the contact and I say, oh shit, where did it go? So I start on the right and the left. I try to find it where it gets shifted to. shift at 100 kilometers, that's not easy. Uh, we won't worry about that yet. <laughs> but it's a, so you see the idea? That's There's a contact that separates that rock body from this rock body. The original depositional contacts are shifted across the contact. So now we see the depositional contacts and the fault contacts. Contact and then let's. Oh, actually, I don't oh. know what I want you to do. Finish your map here based on what I talked about. And so put in that. Some a lot I saw a lot of you had your line was perfectly correct. You had your line going and turn and came back around. Just erase the turn and put in that. Fault yeah. I will let you know if you make a little group back of all. 